What's up my dear subscribers and everybody else? I am of course LL and today we're gonna to be talking about some crypto financial investing games which were kind of popularized by, you know, Alien Worlds which kind of came up with this concept that hey, you can like have these land NFTs which will be generating your resources and these resources can be basically used to buy different types of NFTs which will be increasing your yield, etc. And this is a very simple type of investing games. There are many variations out of them. Some are more complex than others. And today I wanted to talk about a couple of them, very new ones and recent ones for that matter. And let's go into our first one out of four, which is called Tesotopia. And this is on Tezos. You will be needing a, a temple wallet, for example, to basically log in here. Uh, very easy to use. One of the actual best extensions there is. And it has a pretty relatively cheap entry, around $25 to basically buy your first land piece. And inside this game, the lands are basically generating you resources for free. So it doesn't require like any form of gaming. You are going to be getting free resources by just having a piece of a land inside the game. But also there are aspects of like play to earn mechanics as well through different types of NFTs. So there's like, you know, battle types of things which are going into the RTS side of things. So here's a lot of like a very key detailed, you know, it's like a hexagonal type of a game where you have different units which you fight each other and I believe that you're going to be getting rewards after you win battles and stuff like that. So you have sort of a, like a different type of a functionality here. You have the land ownership and then you also have kind of like the PvP stuff. And there's a lot of things here. We might be doing a more separate video where I go more into details on these. But I just want to give you a bit of a surface look. And they obviously have their own inbuilt marketplace. There's all types of NFTs being sold out here. Tezo tops are the actual land pieces. And they are starting around, I believe, $25 uh, floor. So very cheap. Oh, sorry, $46 um, you know entry so it's a more cheaper than a lot of other um, Investing games out there if we compare to Steppen for example and here we can see like the map and I'm able to like look into certain pieces here and I'm able to like find out all of these land pieces in the universe You can see all of these four resources which are being generated and I think I kind of like this interactive world here so you can customize your um, world and you can find all types of things here uh, by scrolling through it's a very nicely done it's a lot more visual experience than a lot of other ones and here's like the battle system and everything but you need to have armies and units for that but here here i can see for example i just bought a land so i'm now getting a uh, uh, energy minerals and machinery unobtainium is something that is uh, i believe through a bit more higher tier uh, land plots basically can uh you know generate that but that's uh kind of like a very um Bear, bear, you know, very small rundown of this game, but it definitely has an amount of complexity into that, which is kind of cool. But let's move into another game. This is actually done by a friend of our communities, and this one is called Pumpo Poly. This is on Near Blockchain. It's a very simple form of a game. It's the name kind of comes from Monopoly game. I mean, most of you have played that board game. It's pretty much. Uh, uh, one of the most played board games around the world after like chess and all of these traditional types of games and The way it really works is that you are able to buy different types of estates And there's by the way inbuilt tutorial here in case you just want to go through that And there are these estates that you can basically buy and people are able to like when they kind of like drive through so you're basically able to drive through like the blocks, all the blocks go through. And every time somebody drives through uh, through the blocks and collect rewards, you are also going to be collecting rent. So and then you're also like able to kind of like in Monopoly, you're able to sometimes like combine two pieces of land together to basically get higher bonuses. And there's also like an inbuilt uh, referral program. And I have my link down below if you want to look into it. And uh, Here's some amount of lands and rents that they have done and there's a real estate office and market charts 
uh, the amount of rents. And this has been like, you know, I got into the, obviously kind of like in day one. So it's, it's been kind of like cool to see how the game is kind of like slowly starting to grow up. But it's like a very base investing game. Doesn't require like superior mathematics or something to kind of like understand. Like everything is explained in the doc files and you can just read how does the tokenomics work and the, the credit score system, which is a very integral part about uh, this whole thing. And you also will be earning from invites, as I said, so 50% every time a person buys a city land or property purchases or 50% from improve, improvements built by your invitees. So it's also kind of like having this incentive to grow more and more as time goes on. Moving on, uh, we have Million on Mars. This is a game on Wax. And this is also releasing on Solana, so I thought I would be kind of featuring it right now. Um, it has an entry point of $10, so basically you need to buy a $10 NFT, and this will basically give you an access uh, inside this game. And it works out kind of like similar, so there are land plots, which you are basically buying on. I believe this is like meant to symbolize Mars. And the, these uh, land pieces are going to be, you know, generating uh, revenue. Here are a lot of these different resources. And, you know, I haven't looked into this too much yet. But basically, uh, you will be needing the land to basically, like, uh, withdraw money from the actual thing. So I already have some Dusk. I think this also has some type of sign-up bonus when you come in. So in order to, like, withdraw, you will be needing a piece of land. Uh, the license costs you 10, 10 bucks, but I'm not 100% sure what is the uh, the price of the actual lands. But once again, this one also has a fair amount of complexity of different things and levels and land pieces and, you know, job markets, rented buildings. And here's the marketplace. Let's see if we can find the land pieces. What is the, the floor here we're looking at? So um, I don't know if these are in these are in dust. So I don't know what is the dust price right now. But basically, there are many ways to um, uh, buy these things. And obviously, you can just wait on Solana being launched as well. There is a referral program. And you can also link your both Solana address and your Wax address to the actual account. So th this is also kind of interesting to see. Solana could be majorly boosting the playership on, on this game. But let's move into our last game, which also is very new, called Zomland. This is on near actually has a free to entry right now. So basically you are buying these lands and they basically mint out these zombies and zombies can basically sold on the market, sent to another player or destroyed for ZML tokens. And I believe the zombies are like also able to like find different types of lands. So there's four types of land things. You will get the micro one for free actually. And I think it generates like two zombies per day or something. And there's also like a battle arena. I'm not sure is that out yet, but there's like a, there's also a breakdown of the tokenomics. And here I can go into my uh, collection, my NFTs. So you can get this micro one for free. So definitely, you know, get one because it will not cost you anything. Um, and apparently I can mint my zombies. And here I go. Okay, there will be a, some type of a small transaction here to basically mint. Let's see what happens here. And this one is also like very, very new. I think this released like three days ago or something like that. A fairly new. And here we got our, you know, zombie. It will have different types of stats. And uh, this will, I will be guest, guest used on the, um, on the market. I can sell it also for a price. I don't know what the market floor is looking at right now. Um, 0 0.5 near per zombie. Could it be that high? That's actually for rare. What are the comments going for? 0, .0 near. 0 0.03 near um, the, the market doesn't seem to have like a very good filters uh, You're able to also buy monsters and lands, but perhaps in in the future you're able to also buy the Zombies from Paris, but I don't know if they want to give like an inbuilt system or something like that But this is also another one that is kind of interesting It has like obviously that free entry thing which in my opinion is pretty good to get people kind of like equated to how does the thing work there's a good FAQ here going into explaining the lands. Like here, I already explained one zombie per day. There's a limitation how many of those can exist. So 50,000 can only exist in totality. So right now, it's still early on. Not all the lands have been minted. 
so you can kind of get on. The large one is co collecting eight zombies per day. There's only 2,000 of those lands. Um, you can also play with your smartphone. There's a white paper, yada, yada, yada. So there's kind of like what I wanted to do this video for is to just show you that there are a lot of these types of different investing games which people are kind of interested in. They have their own tokenomics. And sometimes if you get in early especially, they can be profitable, but this is obviously not financial advice. And, you know, you can search through many different app websites for other types of, you know, alternatives out there. But there is obviously a lot of, you know, a fairly a lot of people who are interested in types of these types of uh, uh, financial form of games. But uh, as always, thanks for watching. Here's uh, my email in case some sponsors want to contact me for business inquiries. I definitely will be doing more play to earn gaming form of uh, content in the channel. People are obviously always interested in that. So uh, stay, tu stay tuned for that type of content. But until then, I will see you soon. Cheers.